Welcome guys to this video on Scratch 8 December 2003 build And so the first thing I guess you could notice is of course this uh, interesting default project when you open this special this special for winter as, as you can see it's a December version and yeah let's let's anyway first do a shift click over here and just turn the fill screen on if you do a normal click you will not get that so we have a shift click over here okay let's just go from now uh, usual top to bottom menu which we are gonna do and yeah this men menu also has something called presentation size which could change the presentation size as you can see this is what you can be controlled it's totally out of your screen I guess if you like you can of course do it but yeah if your presentation screen is you just control your presentation screen size that's the advantage over there or just make it well broader I don't understand the main thing over here maybe it has lots of bugs okay so then you can see there are four kinds of objects you can create music object sprite object media object and this one is the what is that I mean what this way say that I forgot it's some kind of a board sensor board I, yeah sensor board object of course you can create these four objects but I'm not gonna create it for now and so now it's time to check out script and block area palette for that you need a sprite of course so I just created a normal sprite let's view under blocks and script I know there's not much difference from the 11th October version but yeah yet we could just simply just check it out for fun purposes in case you're interested maybe it's like a bit more like a change log okay the one th one important thing to notice is it's in default it's in motion category instead of the control category as it's prior version and let's just check out each of the category of course you can see it's a drop down over here still and yeah, here you got your controls category and so here that you can see there's an until loop which is missing which is missing okay let me just open the older version which is known as 11th october version so if i open the 11th october version okay this is 11th october version if you want to see that this view on the blocks you can see there's something called an until block okay this thing is just simply for com comparison purposes of course you don't need to do that I think I'm not gonna do one more comparison, maybe we'll do it later. I just better speak of it more than it. You also can see math 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 and math two, which are two separate things as you can see. And also you can watch my old video on October if you want. That I think that's also that's the interesting one. You can see math one and math two. Math two is a test subject for for now. And also the file categories are missing, which is also an experimental one. And so the next one is the mouse cat mouse and the keyboard category, which got the uh, mouse x and mouse y for the first time and of course also the mouse touching which are the new blocks added and of course tested uh, testing is also missing but let's check other okay this having okay i think files has been moved to here that's what's been happening and you can also do timer resets which i don't know if it exists if it existed as well and sensing remains the same let's check the yeah it's kind of same only And yeah, these all are there over here and of course pen categories inside motion and let's check variables okay the important thing you can notice here is you could uh, create the you can click on the set button to get a block for setting its value okay let's right click and delete it or you can get a reporter block which you can drag here for and uh, i forgot it's called and i think screen reporter i don't know what they call this i forgot its name Anyway, you could create like that. This is called a reporter block. You could create a reporter, or you can make it in a setter like that. Or you could just click on the set button in order to get the block. Okay, that's cool. And also, you could just create a new variable by pressing, pressing uh, plus and giving a new name. I know this you can. I've already seen. You can of course create your own variable. Put a screen dropper. You can also change its value. Of course, this is just a reporter. You couldn't edit its value from here. You have to get the set block for changing its value. Okay, I think you cannot do it like that. That's why you need a script hat, which you need to bring it up. Script hat is like a green flag, but you have to you you are the one who had to create the button. That is what is the thing about this. So 
so let's create our button over here and keep it there you can see you can change the value and of course this thing the slider is also there you can hide the slider like that or you can just add something like enable mouse click which i think so would work not like that if you have to click on the right which you are in let's say it's 15 then you have to click on the sprite for changing the value that's what does this mean let's disable the most click thing i think that's a little bit new feature there and yeah let's get to the some things we forgot to explore in the last video because i didn't got the time to do so okay next thing is let's just open the music category let's see if there's a change of course other blocks are almost same you can see it got other categories but it's almost the same and yeah, this this two remains the same. There's no difference from the previous version. And yeah, you can also see this thing's also same, almost same. This also experimental. But the, the new thing is this uh, sensible, which we got. With this we want the blocks. Actually, I don't know if I'll make one more video, but because nowadays so too busy. But yeah, I tried my best to make these videos possible after a long time with this motor this way that way but of course one thing one problem is there you cannot you can uh, only view its block you cannot view its this thing what do they call that you cannot view its script you cannot do any coding of, out of this that is a problem but of course you could I mean you could just add it like that you just drag it and put it like that of course you can see board one sensor yeah, I forgot that one funky feature about this. You can control other sprites, right? Put it like that. <laughs> yeah, that's very interesting. You could put the script into and one thing. I think this is possible with all of these uh, 0.1 and 0 .2, 0 0.2 versions. Sorry, 0 0.1 versions. It's quite amazing. I, of course, always forgot to say about these things because I don't know about it before this. And yeah, I think that's all i could say for this video and i hope to see you guys in the next video